And we're back, this week with a far less weighty topic. As anyone who was unfortunate enough to watch my first video may realise, I am certainly not the sharpest power sword on the Thunderhawk. I spend aeons reading codexes and black library fiction in a desperate attempt to better my understanding of Warhammer, as I look deeper and deeper into different armies and tactics Big questions arise in my almond size mind. Some of these include What ever happened to Gorka Morka? When will we get new Necrons? Are chainsaws actually cooler than lightsabers? And do they have music in the 41st millennium? And if they do, does it sound anything like this? From lurking on forums and going to my local store, I have come across, as I'm sure you have too, a recurring question. Just who is the most evil race in 40k? I know, I know. But, seeing as this is a show for the people, I thought we should all join in and find out who really wears the big evil trousers in Warhammer 40,000. Now I'm sure we all have our minds made up as to who we personally believe to be the cruelest creatures out there, but I think if we lift the lid on some races, don't take them at face value, and look a little deeper, we may find that those we thought to be at first gentle and mild are the worst thing to happen to the galaxy since Jar Jar Binks. Or, you might find a race you once believed to be utterly foul, and in looking a little deeper at their lore, realise that they are actually the descendants of a race of giant wombles. I mean, that would certainly declaw them a little bit. This topic is kind of awkward, as more or less every single race in 40k makes Skeletor look like a Teletubby, but let's give it a go. From taking a quick survey at my local store, I offer you the public's three most evil races. Controversial choices, but here we go. They are... The Dark Eldar. The Powers of Chaos. And the Tau. No, I'm just kidding. It's the Eldar. No, I'm just kidding again. It's the Orcs. Let's consider our spiky pals, the Dark Eldar. The very fact that these dudes not only enjoy, but sustain themselves from your pain and your anguish really makes them front runners in this race. Sucking out souls and chopping up bodies is something that is more at home in a Stephen King novel than it is in a game, so you know that when they turn up with something pointy, it's business time. The Dark City of Komora! <laughs> is full to bursting with backstabbing, treacherous, psychopathic gymnasts who not only want to, but need to rip out your soul and won't let anything less than Chuck Norris stop them. However, despite their malevolent ways, it doesn't seem completely fair that they could outmatch an embodiment of pure hate. And that is where our next team come in. While Dark Eldar players me included, were still in their diapers, Fabius Bile was giving the universe a rather good thrashing, slicing and drilling and chopping and burning his way through whichever specimens he could get his hands on, he seems like more than a match for any Dark Elder. Plus, we shouldn't forget that Chaos have demons on their side. Within the context of the warp, these red minis are the personification of all of humanity's nasty thoughts. In short, some of these demons are the true incarnation of evil. Now that is really, well, evil. Throw in plague marines, noise marines, berserkers and good old Deffy and you have a cocktail of pure naughtiness. However, one of the biggest and most surprising responses I got when I started asking people this question was the one and only the green and demented, the slavering but cuddly orcs. Now, it's often easy to forget that the orcs are 
evil in the true sense because they are so much brutal fun. People sometimes see them as more ironic. But, and this is a big but, they are a race that thrive on pure and simple honest war. Whereas the Dark Eldar torture, Tyranids munch and the Imperium purge, these guys just want a good old scrap because that's what orcs do. A portion of the forces of chaos may be evil itself. All of the orcs are basically war itself. So, if in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium there is only war, really what you're saying is, in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium there is only orcs? And that is by far the scariest thing I have said in the last 10 minutes. So, as you can see, it's pretty hard to say who is the most bad to the bone race out there. But because I still think there is definitely a place for Necrons, Tyranids and the Imperium on this list, I decided to do a scale of 40k nastiness, where I will give an evil equivalent for each race. You'll see what I mean. Dark Eldar are Joker evil. Chaos Daemons. Darth Vader, evil. Chaos Space Marines, Freddy Krueger, evil. Tyranids, Paris Hilton, evil. Necrons, Megatron, evil. Orcs, Doctor Evil, evil. Witch Hunters, Shredder, evil. Space Marines, Magneto, evil. Imperial Guard, Mr. Burns, evil. Eldar, Cylon, evil. And the Tau, Moomin, evil. So there you go. I guess all the 40k races are evil in their own way, and each of them truly inspires fear in my heart. And as a great chap once said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. And also bankruptcy. And famine. And war. And losing your job. And Justin Bieber. <laughs> Until next time. Peace.